Hey, we got Drew's views here back for a little Car Tuesday, reacting to them cartoons on Tuesday with Ben 10, Alien Force. Today, I'm going to watch Season 3, Episode 4, which may be called, and in fact, is called Fool's Gold. So, hmm, Fool's Gold is like a fake gold, looks like real gold, I guess, but is utterly worthless. So I assume that'll be somehow tied into whatever the plot is here. Last time we had Inferno. We met some space. Well, we met an old-timey alien guy who lives underground in the desert with space cattle. Grandpa had sent them out on a mission to see what was going on. They got loose and stampeded. And it was due to Volcanus, our old friend. I guess erstwhile bounty hunter. Now... <laughs> now uh legitimately rich because of uh kevin technically um and bought like a deed to earth that wasn't really explained how he got that he said it was legal but uh he wanted to make like his own planet and heat it up hence the inferno which obviously ben and co had to stop so i thought it was a pretty fun episode you know it wasn't doesn't seem like it's gonna lead to any main plot or anything but cool to check back in with volcanus I was reminded that he's really a little tiny guy and he runs out of his suit, which is funny always. We had stopped the cow, the cattle things were like eating, they were into eating rocks, so that was a problem for Kevin in his new form. But yeah, and yeah, Kevin's cards had a lot of crazy stuff, like getting invisible. Overall, though, it didn't seem like the most popular episode or anything. I think someone even commented saying it was kind of filler and, um,. I think there's a comment also that uh, this season maybe we'll be back to some more just regular adventures or not. Maybe that means not like as much of an ongoing storyline as with the DNA plot plotline from season one and two. Not sure. I, I don't think I would prefer that either necessarily because one of the things I've been saying I like about Alien 4 so far has been more of a cohesive ongoing storyline. But we'll see. Though. I like some of the old adventure stuff too, so... I have to see what we get, and uh, no better way to do that than to jump on into this one here. Let's see if it's a good Alien Forest episode or just some fool's gold. Let's do it. Okay, well, pretty strange episode, conceptually at least. Um, basically, uh, there's aliens that come to Earth every 17 years, shit, literal gold, which one town reaps the benefits of, uh, but if they eat meat instead of, po well, po instead of popcorn, they turn huge, start trying to multiply, shit, uranium, <laughs> which was funny when Kevin was bouncing bomb to bomb like that and destroy the world or everything and then to combat that Ben gets purposely eaten in one of his alien forms and vomited out making the alien back to its normal size and no longer a threat except in the review comments for vacation interesting um i guess you know they're going for more humor in this one with that stuff even though it's weird too um i guess that's a good concept kind of the mayor obviously got greedy there i wonder why they only come every 17 years because like it's like a college kids spring break i mean that's a weird element added on to it too i guess it's the popcorn it's supposed to be like they're partying like drinking or whatever i don't know if kid i guess like kids watching this would kind of understand the 
concept or stereotype of like a partying spring break or like the one alien talking telling him to come to the pool is like acting like he's all like stoned or something or his voice is like that but yeah is it the way their planet operates or their species operates like it's 17 earth years to the next like college year for them hmm. well anyway tourism's a thing the guy at uh orb had grandpa's number i guess from his parents or something that, that's interesting like i kind of mentioned at the beginning and i have been mentioning this season so far it seems like from the movie where they're just working for grandpa now and they have their like headquarters as plumbers they didn't ex explicitly set that up but i guess they don't need to i mean they, they don't seem like they're going to so they're just going out on these missions i guess that goes back to the more individualized storyline so far this season not the overarching like the alien plot or other plot yeah i guess i like the episode i mean it like i said it was a very strange concept which is definitely kind of tacked the thing on you know with gwen and kevin Ke kevin gave her the locket at the end like remember me like this so obviously he's still brooding over his change in appearance but um I don't know. I, I guess they didn't necessarily need to go more into it. I mean, it seems like maybe they would have tried to throw out a little bit more into the storyline there between the two of them, but I guess it is more of an internal conflict for him, not not a couple relationship conflict, unless he makes it like them. Maybe they're going like he's going to get obsessed over his appearance and it's going to be too much of a problem for him, even though it's not for her, and that's going to drive a wedge between them or something. I don't know. But yeah, it was, uh, everything that happened in this was, was pretty obviously what was going to happen. You could clearly see like the next step, what it was going to be, but it was still done pretty well, I guess. Like, I guess the most surprising part was the cold open. Like that was so weird with them all popping out and like crash landing there. And then all the, <laughs> the townspeople cheering and then obviously you know why they're going to, or why they are there waiting for them and cheering. You, you quickly learn that after, but, um, so that was good. Yeah, we're definitely meeting a lot more different types of uh, alien species this season, it seems like. So we'll see if that continues, and I would assume, yeah, we'll get another, maybe one-off type of storyline next time with them chasing down another lead or another issue for Grandpa. But until we see what that is, subscribe to Drew's Views if you're not doing so already. Keep those comments coming, and uh, until next time, I'll be up out of here. Peace.